Hey there, I am Parth Doshi, exploring the field of RPA and sharing my learnings with you by making videos. So this is going to be a new playlist on my channel where we are going to learn everything about selectors in detail. So there was one event conducted by UiPath on Let's Talk About Selector by Ishmit and Sayed and it was a very insightful webinar and from that I learned many things related to selectors. So now I'm trying to implement them and make videos on that. So you are going to learn everything about selectors in each new video of this particular playlist. So make sure you check this out videos on this playlist every day. So let's get started. Let's start with an overview of what we'll be seeing in this video. So in this video, we'll be seeing how we can use regex or in other words, regular expression to build our selectors and make them more reliable and for our workflows so what i'm going to do is this is our website where it generates numbers so i'm going to just use a get text activity to get this particular first number as you can see over here so i'm going to go to my ui path and i'm going to use get text activity a normal get text activity not cv or anything okay so after that, I'm going to indicate it on my screen. So I want to get this number. Let me store it in an output. It's going to be an out argument. Okay, already exist. So let's give it an output variable. Now we are going to use a message box. So here is a message box and output so for now let's go to edit selector and it is validated and it is able to highlight it but what happens is every time you open this website the number changes at that place so let me refresh it and check whether my that particular variable is valid or not okay so now what we are going to do is Mm -hmm. One second. So you see the A name is two zero two triple five zero one zero one nine two. So it is the same. Maybe okay. Now edit selector. You see it is not validating it. So when I refreshed my page and the number changed over here, it is not able to identify that particular number or that particular area of the text so now we are going to use regex to solve this problem so now regex is used when you know that there is going to be a some kind of pattern in which you can replace with the regular expression so now what pattern do we identify over here we identify is there are three numbers then there is an hyphen there are three numbers then there is an hyphen there are three numbers then there is an hyphen so let's try to change this. Okay, so I've just maximized the screen so you can see the editing that I'm doing. Edit selector. So now we are going to create a regular expression for that. Let me open in UI Explorer. Or we could change here as well. No problem in that. So let's change it over here. I'm going to remove the parent ID. Now I'm going to write a regular expression for this. So it is going to be slash D. There will be three digits. Any three digits can be there. Similarly, after that, there will be one hyphen. There will be again three digits. And there will be after that four digits over here. So now we have done that we have replaced our A name with a regular expression. To learn about regular expression, there are many videos on YouTube which you can refer them. So this is a simple regular expression. D means digits and there are going to be three digits. They can be any between zero to nine. Again, three and then four. So once you have done it, we have to specify that the A name is matching to a regular expression 
so that means regex we are going to specify in our selector that my a name is a regex pattern so let me validate it now and you see it is able to validate so let's do highlight okay now what we are going to do is we are going to refresh this page and see if another number is coming then what is happening now you see it was 0129 now it is 0175 still our selection selector should be valid so edit selector and it is valid and it is able to identify that particular element so this is how we can use regular expressions in our selectors let me run this particular workflow and in a message box i should see that particular number okay so it is just taking time to run okay so now we can see two zero two triple five seven five so now no matter n number of times you are this numbers changes but you will still get the output now it is zero one nine eight let's try to run it again and see it is able to extract the particular data now we have successfully understood how we can use regex in our particular workflows to build the selectors now at the end i just want to say like when you can use this regex is when you know that there is going to be a some kind of pattern it's not like you can use every time regex but if you know there is going to be some kind of pattern as we saw over here there were three numbers or hyphen three numbers or hyphen and then there were four numbers so this is one pattern that is never going to change no problem if the numbers or if the alphabet change but the pattern is still remaining the same so thank you for watching the complete video i have i hope you learned something very interesting and new which will help you build more reliable selectors for your workflows while doing web automation subscribe now new every day Thank you.